Hi folks, using the latest Character Creator 3.4 expressions along with the new mocap functions in iCloud 7.9, of course you can produce lip sync from motion capture. But getting mocap lip sync just right and with minimal cleanup needed, especially on longer sequences, can still be quite difficult, particularly if you're on a deadline. So here I'm recording some facial mocap, but I've deliberately masked out the mouth and jaw. And I'm doing this because I want to show you probably the fastest, simplest workflow for producing full face animation, including lip sync, by combining motion capture with Realusion's latest Aculips toolset. And now I have some mocap, not including the mouth and jaw, I'll go to Aculips, which you can access from the motion panel Create Script button. The basic principle of Aculips is that it takes an audio file and automatically aligns it to its corresponding text so that visemes which are produced on the timeline appear in the right places with the right timings. It can record directly or load an audio file, as well as produce text to speech. In this case, I'm simply dragging in an audio file from the desktop and a text file which I've already prepared loads automatically because it has the same title as the audio file. You'll notice a word here is highlighted in red. This means that Aculips can't quite figure it out. And whilst you can still go straight to alignment without correcting highlighted words, you can also correct them if they're not spelled correctly, or you can replace highlighted words with more phonetic approaches. So here, I've changed the word puppetry to two words, puppet and tree, and Aculips has accepted that. So now I use the align button, and this aligns the text accurately to the audio. You can see the alignment underneath the audio waveform. Next, I simply apply the Aculips calculation, and this puts the audio, along with visemes, directly onto the timeline. I'll extend the mocap clip in a moment, but first, let's just play that back so you get the idea. Whether it's motion capture, puppetry, or keyframing, facial animation is about putting believable expressions where you want them, when you want them, to bring characters to life, to communicate their words and feelings. And the mocap stops before the speech ends, so I'll quickly extend that by blending in a new pass of mocap. But I'll keep my face still until the end, when I'll add a little eye motion. Whether it's motion capture, puppetry or keyframing, facial animation is about putting believable expressions where you want them, when you want them, to bring characters to life, to communicate their words and feelings. So now I have a full face talking animation sequence and I didn't move my lips. And of course, with this as a starting point, I can now continue to work on the animation if I wish, such as by replacing the mocap I've produced using the latest replace function. And for more information on the new mocap tools, please see the previous in-depth tutorial. But for now, let's look further at what Aculips has produced. Now, Aculips drives a whole new Visim set with more realistic natural lip shapes, which was loaded into the avatar as part of the new X Plus facial animation profile over in Character Creator. And looking at the Visim clip up close, you can see that it's aligned the original text directly to the waveform here on the timeline. And this, along with existing Visim editing functions to move, replace, and alter strength on individual shapes, means that if you need to, Detailed lip sync editing will be easier and faster than ever before. But I must admit, since I started using Aculips, I haven't actually yet needed to edit an individual Visim at all. Now, from the Visim clip right click menu, you have access to the usual lip options function for smoothing and strength in whole or in parts. You can go back to Aculips to edit the current clip, and you can change clip speed, as well as toggle the display of words on the Visim clip. And right at the bottom of the menu is a new function called Talking Style Editor. Let's look at the lip sync up close so we can see how this works. Experienced animators will know that editing lots of individual Visim keyframes for strength to change the visual quality of speech over time is a complete nightmare. The Talking Style Editor provides control of global strength for each Visim across the current clip. It's like a graphic equalizer for speech which means you can determine how strongly each mouth shape is applied across the whole clip, and if you want to suddenly change it, say to go from whispering to shouting, you can simply break the clip and apply a new talking style to the new clip on the timeline. Now, you can fine-tune the strengths manually if you wish, to change the emphasis on particular shapes, which really will change the character of the whole speech, 
and you can save and load your own customized settings but you can also choose from a wide range of preset options so dialing in Visium strength is really straightforward especially since you can do this as I'm doing live whilst the lip sync is playing back and for me much like the latest replace function for mocap Aculips is one of those holy grail animation tools which just works something which takes a normally difficult time-consuming task and makes it simple elegant and usable with solid and repeatable results so this particular animation was produced using Aculips for lip sync with mocap used for the rest of the face but what about using mocap on the mouth with the lip sync still in place obviously you need to be careful if you add jaw opening to the animation then clearly this could mean that the lips wouldn't close properly during speech so it's important to consider what you want to achieve but here I'm just doing a simple pass of mouth mocap to make this old guy appear a little happier whilst he's speaking and just as with all of the techniques I'm showing during these tutorials it really is up to you how you create animations using Reillusion's latest tools so to finish off it's worth noting that you can also use lip options for smoothing and strength on clips at the same time as talking styles and as I mentioned before if you want to change the quality of speech over time just break the clip into sections and use different settings on each clip thanks for watching